Hi guys, welcome back to my space. It's actually really good to be back. I know some of you have been asking where I have been. Some of you have been DMing me and writing me emails, asking when I'm going to come back to this space. And I think a majority of you have just been promising that I'm going to come back. And this coming back has actually taken longer than I anticipated. Um, I know I have been silent for a while, but that doesn't mean that anything is wrong. Nothing is wrong. <laughs> Nothing really major or bad really happened. I just think life happened. And also I think I had finished a stage because when I started this channel, for me, it was just a hobby. I wasn't thinking to earn. I wasn't thinking to promote any products and such things. I was just thinking that I'm just here to share information and have fun and that's it and I feel like uh, I was giving back as well because so much had been given to me and I wanted to demystify the whole thing that coming abroad or studying abroad was so hard or you had to have a b c you know like just showing people that there was a lot of possibilities if you really put your mind into it and I feel like I have done that and um, for those who know me you know that my channel has always been a space where I talked a lot about Finland how to come to Finland how to apply visas about school about being an au pair just a different stuff and also about just settling in here because it's not that easy but then now i feel like it is time for me to take this beautiful space into another direction another space another level and it's so unfortunate because i will not be speaking so much about school that is not to mean that I will not answer questions about school. It's just to mean that right now I have lost touch on school stuff because myself, I haven't been in the study space since 2018. And when I was doing the videos uh, most recently, my sister just joined school. Was it two years ago in 2022? And therefore i still had a bit of information i knew what was going on and what was changing but at this moment so much has changed we have a relatively new government new rules and so many rules that are actually affecting the immigrants so my point of view has actually changed in actually encouraging people to come to Finland. Reason being, I feel like the school now is being too expensive and the integration uh, process for foreigners is not enough. Therefore, actually, majority of you who have been asking me recently about school, I have given you enough information about Finland, but I've also asked you to look elsewhere. This is not to discourage you from coming to Finland. It's just to open your mindset that with that same amount of money, because now school is really expensive, you might find a school that is maybe cheaper or the same amount of money where you might find integration process easy. That is why. But we will get back to that um, in another video. For those who are new or don't know me, my name is Kathy. I am, oh, it's on this. <laughs> I am Kenyan. I'm wearing the Kenyan passport, you can tell. And I know someone will wonder what am I talking about when I say the Kenyan passport. Well, you'll definitely recognize a Kenyan because majority of us wear this. Uh, but I have been living, uh, I have studied in Finland. I have been living here. I have, I work here. And I actually do have a uh, dual citizenship. So I'm also a citizen of Finland. And I talk a lot about my life, Finland and stuff. So welcome. Unfortunately, you have to maybe watch my older videos to see a lot of stuff about school. But even that might be so much outdated. But the new space really all of you the new space really is just a space where i want to motivate i want to inspire i want to just bring positive energy we learn from each other you know uh, talk about life talk about god talk about 
um, just this and that, like the daily living, uh, my experience living in Finland, my experience being in a culturally different marriage, my experience being a mom, just a lot of stuff, my past uh, in detail and just things that I have seen that resonate with me and have resonated with me in the past few years. So yeah, that's where I'm thinking of taking my channel and I really do hope that I can get your support. But if this is not for you, then you're really welcome to unsubscribe because I'm just looking to do something that I will enjoy and I'm looking to make sure that someone I get to impact somewhere, someone somewhere. So I'm sure sometimes I've gotten those videos that when I talk about my life, someone will write to me and be like, uh, go back and do uh, school videos. And I'm so sorry, this is my space. So I just get to do what I really love. And uh, if you have any questions about school, you can DM me. I've always put my Instagram and now I'll be also on TikTok a lot. So hoping that I also get enough subscribers to maybe go on live because it's way easier probably to answer a lot of your questions when it's on live. Like I can, you can write it and I can just answer it. But for now, where have I been? Well, I know some of you already noticed I'm bald. It's not swag. <laughs> it's not swag. I like Sikutaka. Let me just say that. Like I do want this to happen. But it happened and I'm kind of happy about it. I thought about it like, should I wear a wig? Should I come just the way I am? And I was like, ah, I'm just going to come the way I am because this is just me. Bald head, it's okay. And because I know this space can be, it's nice, but ah, some people can be really mean. And uh, I think I'm beginning to learn that it doesn't matter really what you do. Even if you come on here and you're beautiful and all you have good makeup and a good wig some will just find a reason to hate and majority of those people by the way are usually people you know which is usually very shocking but anyway enough about that but yeah even the space i tried guys this is my effort no judging if you have a problem go and create your own studio and then we come and judge you also so well, what I'm just trying to say, there's a lot of new styles trying to reinvent myself. And that is why I think my space now will be Tribe Kathy, because I'm trying to create uh, a small tribe where we share common knowledge or different things, disagree to agree, motivate and, you know, inspire, have fun and all those things. Yeah. So I'm Tribe Kathy from from now on and you can also listen to my podcasts on spotify you can watch them on youtube i will be doing small mini vlogs on tiktok nothing really serious just about this and that uh, maybe about my day or something that i have just thought about or something that has just happened to me so yeah, I'm actually really, really interested in seeing where this goes. I am so interested in meeting new people and uh, answering your questions and engaging and just having fun. But I want to really give a special shout out to my family. They have been really supportive. I think I feel like my husband literally had to kick me in the cup to start these videos because he could see that I am really procrastinating and I had a reason for everything like every time uh, you know the kids are home or you so literally right now he dropped them out so that I can do this video because you will not hear a thing I'm now a mom of two which is absolutely amazing I have two boys and I'm done for those who keep on telling me uh, patams jana get a girl no I will get daughters through them but for me I'm totally done I think uh, pregnancy has uh, has been Mikey Bogo like uh, uh no that uh, pregnancy whooped me the whole journey of uh, motherhood has whooped me I usually thought I'll carry it with so much grace I'll be so pretty and because I usually I used to find pregnant women really looking good really looking attractive I don't know whether it was me or I don't know what I was high on but I always thought that when it's my time 
I will be so pretty. I will look so good. I will be wearing this. I will be wearing that. I will have makeup all the time. I will be having these pretty dresses. I could just imagine myself. You know, I, I was so in love with the idea of being pregnant that when I actually got pregnant, I was absolutely thrown off when none of that happened. And I don't even mean like one thing happened, the other one didn't, like none of that happened. The only thing I will say is that I was very grateful that I was carrying my boys. That's, it's life, you know, but sometimes oh, it was brutal. And um, these are the things you earn. <laughs> After pregnancy, you don't have to come and call me canon. I know. And uh, yeah, like a lot has changed. And actually, even on, if you can see, I have decided that I will be speaking my Swahili. I will be speaking my English uh, whenever it comes out, because majority of my viewers are actually Kenyans and I will always go the Kenyan way. And so if you hear a different kind of language, no, it's not that I forgot English. It's just that it feels more natural when you just speak your own language and English. If someone gets lost into translation, Poleni, I'm so sorry, but I hope you catch on. Um, but I want to thank my family. I want to thank my friends, uh, Jess and Yusi. Uh, when it comes to these gadgets, I was just like, what should I buy? What should I get? What? But I accredit the gadgets themselves to my husband. They were a gift and I'm so grateful for them. But yeah, just my mom also really cheering me on always asking me when i'm gonna do a video and when i'm gonna post it what i'm gonna talk about and also my sister um so yeah i i just and also my in-laws i just have really a good uh, foundation of good friends and uh, relatives who have been rallying me on and uh Joyce even giving me ideas of what I should post and what I shouldn't post. So yeah, I am looking forward to be more, more present, uh, more available, more videos, consistency. Uh, yeah. And let's see where we go. So I'm so glad I got to come back here. Welcome to Tribe Kathy. Hope you will enjoy and hope you learn something new. Hope you'll stay motivated, positive, and see you next time.